Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the updates with Falcon 9 launching from Space Launch Complex 40, carrying 24 version 2 mini Starlink satellites. That's about 17,500 kg, a new record for Falcon 9 rocket. This is liftoff. Liftoff. We have fairing separation. And here we can see Falcon 9's first stage landing on short fall of Gravitas drone ship. It was the 13th launch and landing for booster 1069. Great work by SpaceX team and congratulations on sending 17 and a half tons to low Earth orbit for the first time. Today at Starbase and after cruising Highway 4 and Boca Chica Beach, we saw Chip 28 testing. Here we can see the venting few seconds before spin prime test. And we have spin prime test. And here we can see the detanking. All thanks to La Padre as always for the amazing 24-7 live coverage. If you don't know yet, Odysseus lander is on the moon. After a long wait for some pictures, we got those two pictures today, shared by Intuitive Machines team. I was and I'm still expecting more, but this is better than nothing. Now to the company that I'm always keeping an eye on it, Stock Space. The team successfully completed the first test of the upgraded Nova Rocket Stage 2 engines, waiting for video in the next few days. Stock Space CEO and co-founder Andy Lapsa reacts, he said, shout out to our software team on this one. Software is still shiny and new across all our stands. Hard work that makes pictures like this possible. Preparation for Crew 8 mission next month, the brand new booster 1083 and Crew Dragon Endeavor rolled out to the launch pad at 39A. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.